Welcome everybody to a new video series, Russian Fishing 4. I'm going to go ahead and bring this as a kind of a tutorial, let's play, uh, learn together, and just have some fun fishing while we're all kind of stuck indoors during this uh, global pandemic, uh, and uh, kind of just enjoy each other's company. So, let's get started. Uh, I do stream this quite frequently on the uh, Twitch streams, um, and really enjoy it, but I thought, let's go ahead and do uh, maybe some tutorials and kind of uh, teach how the, everyone how this game really works and make sure that uh, you guys get the opportunities to play this if you so desire. It's uh, very much a fishing simulator rather than more of the arcade style, kind of like what Fishing Planet provides, uh, but definitely is uh, a wonderful game. I <laughs> spent countless hours playing this, so but uh, we'll get started right here on Cottage Pond, which is the very beginning lake and kind of where they teach you the tutorials of how to do certain things here, so we'll cover those here real quick. All right, tutorial. We suggest that you become familiar with the basics, basic mechanics of the game by passing the tutorial. It will not take much time. Approach the bank, bank and stand on the bridge. We're going to use our standard w -A -W -S -A -D keys. And we have a flashlight if we need to use it. But it's currently 544 in the morning, so we shouldn't need to use that. The spot is perfect for fishing. And we're going to open our backpack, pushing the I key. Uh, in the list that appears, select the float rod, example tele stick, uh, TL16 by clicking on tile with its image. Next, we select the rig, fix float. A fishing line, float, hook, and bait must be installed on the rod. Then you take your rod in your hands by selecting the pickup button. So, so we'll do that. And it looks like it's already pre populated for us on this case. And we've got a little blurb over here. Uh, the rod here is a three dimensional image of the rod. It's description, parameters, and list of components indicating their state, including the components of the selected rig. Assemble the tackle by selecting the rig and install necessary components. A set of components depend, depends on the rod type and rig type. Some rig components are marked as optional. You can install them at your own discretion. To change the rig type, click the left mouse button. The change, which is this right up here. Uh, you can install or replace rig components by clicking the left mouse button. The corresponding spot. You can remove rig components by clicking with the left mouse button at the icon X of the corresponding slot. Uh, you can view rod parameters by clicking the left mouse button, the I, I, the information icon, which is right here. And let's say we want to remove the line, as they were saying before, we just click that X right there. Uh, to view the list of components and evaluate their condition with the left mouse components condition and analysis. So, uh, let's see, where is that now? Uh, that's the zoomed in. Uh, here? So, where 0% on the rod? Let's say we wanted to change it. If we had these all unlocked, we could certainly do it. Rig selection. Choose a rig according to the rod type and fishing conditions. To see a description of the rig, select the rig from the list of rigs and its name. Uh, change the rig on the rod. You can double click the left mouse button and install the name of the list of rigs. So, like if we want to learn about Balinese, uh, we could, you know, it tells you a little bit how, how it kind of works. So, but we'll go back to our fixed float and we are going to go ahead and click pick up. Tackle's almost ready for fishing. Set the meter depth one meter. So we'll do that here. Get it up there to one meter. All right. Tackle's ready for casting. Try to cast again. Consider the wind speed, direction, aim at the center of the glowing circle. Cast the line. The longer you hold it, the more force is applied. 
All right, so let's go ahead and give that a good, good flip out there. And we can zoom with the Z key. And we just got to wait for the bite. And we got our first fish. And a Chinese sleeper. So you can see here, that's 25 grams. Not a big, not a big fish. Um, we get five experience points for that. And we've just added 0.2% to our float fishing. So in this game, as you fish uh, with certain rigs and uh, styles, uh, you'll earn experience towards that uh, mastery of that skill. So we'll go ahead and keep him. And then we can put it back in our backpack. Find the house and get spare tackle for float fishing. Spare tackles are useful when something breaks and there's no money to buy new gear. You get spare tackle no more than once a day. So, uh, basically what that means is we come up here to the house and once a day you can get equipment for either float fishing or you can uh, get it for the spin fishing as well. So, let's go ahead and we'll come into here. And then it says right here, various tackles, baits of food did not, that did not have a place in the backpack can be stored in the house. The storage is limited. Um, you can use items stored in the house. Only if you move them into your backpack, you can be an object parameter. Same, same thing we saw already here once before. But we're going to go ahead and we want to get the gear. So in order to do that, you can see here we have a little help menu. Uh, if we want to get spare float tackle, we want to push Y, and if we want the spinning tackle, we can go ahead and get G. But in this case, the tutorial is teaching us to go ahead and let's get spare float tackle. So we're going to push Y here. And now we're ready to go to Mosquito Lake and sell our first catch. So we go to the control panel, and we're going to click the picture here. And we're off to Mosquito Lake. Um, and this gives you a little snippet about what each lake is. So here, um, five stars for float fishing and five stars for bottom tackle. So bottom feeders and whatnot. And spin fishing, not as good, only one and a half stars. So uh, this kind of gives you an idea of what tackle to, to maybe use and start saving up for if you're going to stay at this lake for a long time. So we'll go ahead and travel there. All right, welcome to the Mosquito Lake. Find the fish market and sell your catch. You're almost earning, you're earning almost nothing now. In the future, try to catch big fish. The price is much higher. So right here, straight ahead of us is the fish market. So we'll walk it down here and we'll push E. Ah, uh, fishing, fish market. Selling the catch at the fish market is the main source of income in the game. The price for the same fish species may vary depending on the water, the water body. Um, select the desired number of fishes after which the button sell will become available. And we're just going to go ahead and in this case we just got the one fish and you can see he's a whopping three, si well, point three silver. Three cents is what I'm going to say. <laughs> so we'll sell him. Congratulations, we earned our first money in the game. Now close the fish market and we'll have one more test for you. Now it says to go to the tackle store. So if you get close to these, this is both station. Uh, here at Mosquito, you can rent that boat. In the beginnings of the game, guys, want to save as much money as you possibly can. You don't want to uh, to burn your money on things because you want to start saving for the bottom feeders. Um, you know, or you know, in the beginning of the game, kind of get an idea of what you guys want to focus on. Um, on my Twitch account, primarily right now, I'm focused on bottom feeding. Um, but uh, I know a lot of people get a lot of enjoyment out of the spin fishing and um, the float fishing as well. I personally um, would recommend 
sticking to one um, skill first, and then once you master that, then you can go ahead and, and add the others. So on this account, I think what we'll do, we'll probably mainly focus on the float fishing for now and get that built up. But I do definitely want to explore the other ones with you guys so you can see this. So here we've got the grocery store. If we were to go in here, you would see we can purchase items that because uh, you have to keep your food uh, up. You don't want to starve. And your comfort level, and that's all handled. That we'll cover that in later episodes. But that's where the grocery store is here. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and read this, but if you guys want to pause, you can read that right there as well. So let's go ahead and... The administration building is right here. Uh, here we can buy a map uh, of the area, and we may do that, but let's go ahead and head over here to the tackle store. So this is the tackle store on this map. Uh, here we have the hardware store where you can purchase certain things as you get skills, your workshop to repair items, and then the cafe, which is where you get orders uh, for additional income. So well, let's go ahead and get in here, and we're going to go to the bait directory. And should be at our larva. There it is right there. And let's see here. Does it tell you how many we need? So we're going to go ahead and... Let's just get 30 for now. So we're going to go ahead and close that. You can not only buy bait, but you can also craft them from components available in the backpack. Let's make some wet bread. First open the crafting recipes, so we do that by pushing the N key. And locate the wet bread right here. And we fill in that requirement. Now normally what you'd want to do in this case, the tutorial is going to make us waste the entire four pieces of bread. <laughs> um, but you usually eat your bread to get your strength up. And then when you have one loaf left, that's what you use that when you use the make the wet bread here. So. But since this is the tutorial, we will go ahead and follow their prompts here. And make. And we just got an achievement. Lennon's Equal. So we've crafted the whip bread. And we got 30 pieces from that. And we've now increased our harvesting bait skill to 0.2%. So. We're not going to make any more of that because we want to keep that loaf of bread. All right, well, I didn't hit the space key. I just hit the accept, so. And we've completed all of our assignments. If you want to get acquainted with the mechanics of using the spinning rod, then go to Winding Rivulet. There you'll find a tutorial dedicated specifically to this fishing technique. You can learn more about control functions in the quick help window. To view the quick reference guide, push the F1 key. And, as it says, everybody, we're going to go enjoy the game. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, here at the field kitchen, there's one on... Mosquito, and there's one on Winding Rivulet now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and you can use this once every 24 hours, and that's in-game 24 hours. So we'll go ahead and fill up our tummies here. And let's head on down here to the dock. It's still early enough. We'll get a few fish caught here real quick. And we can actually walk around this whole entire lake, which is what something we'll do uh, throughout these video episodes. But for now, let's go ahead and just get started. So I always like to fish off the point here. So we're going to go ahead and we have the telestick and the bamboo. So what we'll do is we'll go here and we're going to put our telestick here. And this is the U key. This brings up kind of a, a quick setup menu for you. And then we'll go here. So now all we need to do is let's go ahead and put a maggot on this one. And then, before we do that, if you push the backspace key, it will put your rod back in. Let's set up our float here. So we're going to make sure we're on a fixed float. And fishing line, we'll go ahead and put on this line here. It's not the best, and it's not very sturdy. A little feather float. This way we can have two rods at one time. We don't have a leader we can do there. Let's see, we'll put the 14 hook on here. And we'll go ahead and put some wet bread on this one. So what we'll do is we'll put wet bread. Let's see. Let's put it right here. Okay. And pushing zero, we'll put that down on the dock in the pole holder. And then we'll put our tail stick. And we'll put her over here.
There we go. And like that, and then we just kind of sit here and wait. See what we can catch here. We'll fish for a little bit. Oh, it looks like we've already got our first bite here. Oh. So that's one thing you always want to do is make sure the bobber's still down before you <laughs> pick it up. So we'll throw it back out there again here. And it looks like our other one, though, is down. Uh, so there it popped back up again, so we'll have to wait a second here. So we're going to pick it up instead of reacting, though. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was kind of strange. Skip there. All right, this time, and what I like to do with float rods uh, to make sure I get as many fish as I possibly can. I always hold my, uh, usually when I'm getting a bite, but I'll hold that rod, as you can see, almost vertical over the bobber. And then when we get the bite, and it's a good bite, we'll actually look up and then left uh, mouse click. So. so we're getting a nibble there, you can see. And he's kind of swimming with it a little bit there. We push the Z key, we can watch it a little more intently here. And then I always just keep that float over the top of the of that, so. And is he... There he goes. I was going to say. Hasn't taken under still all the way. There we go. And just like that, we've caught our first fish on Mosquito Lake. Common Roach, biggest fish caught, personal record, strongest fish caught, and our maximum experience. So you see our float fishing just went up, and this is what we call marker. Um, just means it's a, an adult fish, so we'll go ahead and keep him. How's our other... So let's put this away here. It looks like our other float is somewhere under the water there. Uh, but... Alas, there's nothing there, so let's go ahead and we'll bump this up as well. Let's get this up to a meter. Actually, we're fishing closer here, so let's... 45. We'll put that at 45 here. And the thing is, with the uh, bamboo stick, we're limited on the amount of line we have, so we got to be really careful about where it casts. Well, not, that's not where I wanted that one. So that's why I was keeping that kind of over here. And it looks like that's going to settle just fine right there. And then what we'll do, so we keep an eye on it at the same time here. Let's go ahead and we'll put the telestick close to it as well here. Let's... That way we can see both of them there. So you can see the game doesn't give much of a tutorial, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and kind of cover this. I know when I first started playing this game, I had to really rely on the community and, and trying to get uh, understanding of things. So that's why I wanted to bring this to you. So it looks like our t little stick is went under. Yeah, let's see what we pull out of here. We've got, looks like another roach. Another big fish, some more records there. 0.6 on our float fishing, excellent. And let's take a look and see how our other, other float's doing here. Let's get nibbled on. So what we'll do is we'll take this in hand. I 
And let's see what we catch here. I typically carp like to eat the uh, the bread and the vegetable type baits. So, although they will eat worms, I have caught them on worms, and so. Still playing with there hasn't quite taken it all the way under. Uh, same thing with the bamboo. I try to keep it over the top, and then once it goes under, we just look up and lift up with the left mouse key. And there's our cru uh, crucian carp. But we'll keep him because we need the money. So let's flip that right back out here again, and we'll put our pole down. Bring out our tail stick here. And we'll put it down here. There we go. Oh, so let's get this. And we missed him. So we'll, you will see that quite frequently when you're fishing <laughs> from time to time. That. Um, if you get too excited, they definitely uh, definitely won't catch the bait fish. But we'll, let's uh, see what we can do here. We'll catch a couple more for this video this video uh, episode. And let's see here. We're getting a bite on our bamboo rod, so let's go ahead and keep an eye on that here. So you can see our other one went all the way down there. So let's pause that one here. And... Okay, so normally, probably when you're first starting out, I'd recommend just starting out with the one um, as you get more familiar with the mechanics of it. Going to, you can see we've already lost, but probably should have had a poor fish, and uh, we've only managed to to catch three, so we should have about seven fish right now. Uh, but even in, even though I've been playing this while, you know, you get a little excited and. And uh, certainly, uh, as you can see, I missed on those fish, so. And you can see, there we got another fish coming in. Chinese sleeper. And we're at 1% on our float fishing now. Let's go ahead and catch a couple more. Um, so we can have a decent catch basket here before we go into the fish market. Uh, for me personally, I, I usually enjoy um, going to the fish market when I've got at least 30 to 40 fish. And then it makes it worth your while. These smaller fish, uh, when you're first starting out, doesn't produce a lot of uh, money as you can see but uh, some people are catching some pretty decent Chinese sleepers though well, let's see let's let's see if we can get to 10 fish here uh, see I missed that even though the bobble was under so let's go ahead and I'm gonna push the B key to bring up our bait screen and we're gonna put worms back on let's see if we can get some more Chinese sleepers here Oh, they were getting a nice hit.
Watch it dance a little bit in the water here. Now usually when they run off with a two, like if it lays on your side, usually you can set the hook and, and still catch the fish there. So keep that in mind. There we go. Oh, man. I don't know how we missed him. Well, let's get it back out there again. <laughs> Should have missed him, though. Yeah, there we go. Got another Chinese sleeper, 106 grams. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's see what else we can catch out of there. And we're still getting another nibble here. Oh, 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 even though it was on side, we didn't get him. And that's all right. You're not going to catch every fish, but you can always enhance the abilities. And, and as you earn more income, you can certainly uh, you get better hooks and uh, you can start targeting specific species of fish. I don't know how I'm missing that when that bobber's all the way under. Maybe I'm just not quite giving him enough time. Let's try it again, see what we can do here. So you need to catch five more fish, five more fish. It says a hook are we using. Let's take a look. So if we push the uh, V key, it'll show us our current rig. So we are fishing with a 16, so that should be just fine. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to sit here and we... Well, I skipped it. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Uh, we'll just let him, we'll let him hit it longer, I guess. Sit here and enjoy the sounds of the outdoors. There we go. What did we get here? Small one. So you can see this one didn't have a uh, flag, so it's not an adult. But we'll go ahead and keep them anyway because we, like I said, starting out, every fish counts. Every little bit of income that you can gather uh, is going to help you. So. There we go. A little bit bigger fish, too. A perch. So you can kind of turn around. You can look at them and see. They did. The models in here are fantastic. They've done a, a very good job. So let's go ahead and flip that out there again. So we're at seven fish now, everybody. He's certainly playing with it there. Taking off with it a little bit. Definitely where the uh, patience comes into play.
and uh, don't know how we missed that one, but we did. <laughs> so let's try it over here and see what we got over here. Get another bite now. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, a bigger fish. Looks like a crucian. Where's he at? There we, go. there we go. Oh, look at that. We hit level two. Got a personal record on that one. So, and our float fishing is almost at 2% already. So let's get that back out there and see. What, two more fish is what we need here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll uh, figure that out later. There we go. Another Chinese sleeper, it looks like. Let's go get that tenth fish. And there's our 10th fish. Another Chinese sleeper, it looks like. Yep, definitely. All right, let's go ahead and backspace to put that pole away. Um, real quick, before we sell these fish, I wanted to go ahead and cover what we see here in the bottom uh, left. So in the bottom left, let's see. There we go. Uh, you can see there's four stat bars there. Uh, each one of those indicates uh, specific things. The first one being your energy. And this is the energy that uh, you can have to... Uh, bring in or, or, you know, play bigger fish. Um, the heavier your gear, and, and we'll talk more in future episodes on this, but the more heavier your gear, the quickly you, more quickly you deplete your energy. Uh, also, you deplete your energy when you do digging for worms um, or, or algae. Uh, when we get up to higher levels, you'll see what I mean there. The second one is your hunger level, and throughout the day... Um, or as you are battling larger fish, you will see that bar begin to deplete, and that's when your eating comes into play. Um, the other one is your, your health. Um, that one, at least so far in all the time I've been playing, has not gone down. I would imagine that that's something that they will eventually bring out, uh, the developers with Russian Fishing 4. But this moment, uh, that replaced the luck. It used to be a luck icon. Um, and the higher your luck, the, the better chance you had of trophies and and uh, just certain aspects of, of catching more unique fish. Uh, and then the last one is your comfort level. And this will fluctuate depending on the time of the day, how cold it is or how warm it is outside. Um, if it's raining, that that will qu more quickly deplete. And you'll need to you know drink tea and coffees in order to get that back up. Um, so your energy and your comfort level, the higher your comfort level, the more quickly your energy restores. So just keep that in mind uh, when you guys are playing. And then let's go ahead and see how much money we made with our whopping 10 fish here. So so let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven markers. Little blip about how to sell fish, which we already know. So let's say we wanted to see how much the Chinese sleepers, we could just rack all, all of them up. You can see $1.65, $1.94, $1.55, and 66 So if we group those together, we sell those, that's 480 And let's see, then we could do the common roach, since we got three of those. So you can see the uh, large one, $1.25, but $0.04 cents and $0.45, cents, so not a huge amount of money there. And then we'll just sell the rest of them, so you can see $2.05, $0.04, cents, and $0.06. Cents, so. So overall, 
we started with uh, 50 silver and what well, we had to buy the the maggots which is like a little over two and a half so that took us down to uh, about 4750 we'll just say roughly so we went from 4750 to 5632 just in that short little time and that was just fishing mainly with the one rod so as you get up you know you could have a total of three rods out there um but as you get you know more familiar with how the mechanics of the game work uh, fishing with three rods is, is certainly doable. Um, and at times, if you get on a big bite, your poles are just going insanely crazy back and forth. So, But with that, everybody, I think we'll go ahead and call that on this first episode of Russian Fishing 4. Uh, the tutorials, uh, as well as uh, the Let's Play together on the uh, this uh, video series. So, But uh, leave me any comments if you guys have any questions you'd like me to cover. I'll be more than glad to do uh, what I can. And if I don't have an answer, I will find that answer for you. But as usual, everybody, thank you again for your love and support. Greatly appreciate all of you. Couldn't do it without you. Um, and until next time, take care.